Okay, so if you guys ever encountered a phone where you had the signal blanked out or you got other issues or stuff that you're just trying to, you know, you're just wondering if, if you restore the phone or this is for iPhones, um, just refresh the, the OS to see if that uh, alleviates some of the issues. Um, there's a website you can actually get the the uh, the firmware is from it's ipsw.me is the website and it's pretty straightforward here the home page has all these devices you just click which device you need let's say it's an iPhone 6 and it actually tells you if the current one that you're downloading is actually signed by Apple if it is not signed by Apple all these here you cannot actually restore your phone um, or you can't downgrade to any of these uh, it just won't let you, it'll give you an error. So the, the latest one is this one here and let's say uh, we need that file, I actually already have this downloading it's almost done um, and it is putting this into my downloads folder so once that's done this little dot part will go away and the whole file will be available um, so go back to iTunes. So if you if you want to just push the iOS in and you want to keep the user's uh, data intact, what you would do is hold the shift button down, hit this update button, and you would either uh, navigate to your downloads where we're downloading that to, or iTunes. If it's already downloaded in iTunes, you can check by going to users. Uh, the name of your computer, app data. If this isn't visible, you're going to have to open up a folder and click this view and click show hidden items. And then close this out, come back in, and it should reappear there. So this should be on every PC. So you're going to click app data, roaming, Apple computer, iTunes and this iPhone software updates. If you've done iPad, it's going to be iPad, iPod, and so forth. Um, but you click on that and then any files you downloaded in iTunes previously should show up in here. If you want iTunes to just automatically without... well you'll still have to hit shift and update, but um, if, you, if you were just restoring or updating a phone, um, you can just throw the file you downloaded into that folder and hit restore phone and it'll find it. But if it's not in that folder, it's not going to. Um, that other program that we used, that 3U Tools, I don't know if you saw it when I first opened it. Uh, let's see here. Don't know where... Oh wait, I think it was Documents. Documents... 3U... Um, not actually sure where that folder went. Yeah, not sure. Okay. So anyway, what you would do to update a phone is basically hit this, hit the update. We're going to go to downloads where we're downloading that file. And here it is right here. You would double click on that. It's actually going to extract the file. Uh, as long as everything is okay and it's the correct version for the phone, it'll start a progress bar up here. And again, let's just hit shift and update and then go to where you've downloaded the file, double click on it. or click on it once and hit open, double click on it, it'll select it and let it do its thing. Once it restarts the user information st should still be intact as long as you clicked update. Do not click up restore otherwise it will wipe everything off the phone. But that'll push that update back into the phone and hopefully that fixes issues like the blank here or any other issues you might be having like touch ID not recognized. You can try to push the update in again and see if it is actually going to work. Um, one thing I haven't done is tried to push the update in. Like I'm on iOS 9, I'm on a 6s. I've never tried to push. I don't know if it'll let me push that current iOS into my phone again or not. I have never tried that, so never. Try, I don't think I've tried it with a unsigned uh, firmware, meaning like something like this, because I don't think I can download like um, 10.2. Like if I just wanted to go from 9.1 to 10.2. Since 10.2 is not signed, I don't think it will update my... I think I'll get an error if I try to do that. 
So they have to be signed for you to be able to do anything with them. But just thought I'd show that to you guys real quick. Hope that helps.